All right, let's look at comparing data displayed in box plots. This is the summary for lesson 11.3. So box plot, it's used to show medians. That's really its prime uh, reason. It shows the least and greatest value, so you get that range or that spread. And then it's used to show the median. The median is the center number. And then left and right of that, they find the median of the remaining data. So the middle of it's called your interquartile range. That's the box area. That's where uh, half of all the occurrences take place. The other half occur outside. And they use that, this half being basically the majority of occurrences are in that box. So let's go down and look at some problems. Now, I'm going to tell you one of the easiest ways to make a box plot is first start by plotting the data. And we'll see who we, it says we need to use data to create a box plot on the number line. This is the number line. And here's our data. So question one says order the data from least to greatest. And question two says find the least value, the greatest value, and the median. Well, I will tell you that all of these are easier to find if you first plot the information on the number line. So I'm going to plot my dots on the number line. So 35, that's between 34 and 36, 24, 25, 38, 31, almost put it in the wrong spot, 20, and 27. So now I've plotted all my dots. I now have everything I need to know because I know that here is here is the total range. The spread is from 20 to 38. But now I can quickly do this. Ordering the data, all I got to do is do pull off the dots. So 20, 24, 25, 27, whoops, 27, 31, 35, and lastly, 38. So I've got all my data. So my least value is also here, right? So the least value is 20. The greatest value, and I'm putting them in comma order, so least value, comma, greatest value, comma, median. So if they gave it to me in this order, I'm going to list it in the same order. So my greatest value is 38. Now to find the median, I'm going to count the number of dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I like it when they're a negative number because it means it works great. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is this dot here becomes the median. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here for the box plot, and that's 27. Now, we've broken it, so we're going to go to the lower quartile. It talks about the median of the lower half, and the upper quartile is the median of the upper half. So the lower quartile, we're going to ignore this dot now. It's lost any value, and we're going to go to the three remaining dots. Well, what's the middle value? It's 24, because there's only three dots. So the lower quartile is 24. The upper quartile, will go to these three dots. Here it is. It is 35. Um, the last thing I'm going to do, according to question four, is finish this off. But I've done most of it. I just need to complete my box. Whoops, I didn't put a dot there. Complete my box. And the dots are not required. I just like them because they let me know what's going on. And I end up with my box plot. All right, so let's do the same thing down here below. We've got another box plot. Uh, it's got data up top. We've got the order of the data, the basically the same questions. We can take care of this pretty quickly because we can plot the data, and that gives us what to start with, 63, 69, 61, 74, 78, 72, 68, 70, and 65. So I got my data done. I can do my high and my low. I can order my data. So now that I've got them up there, 60, 63, uh, 65, 68, 69, 70, 72, 74, and 78. So we're going to find the least and greatest values, the median and the lower and upper quartiles. So the first one, the least value was 61. The greatest value was 78. The median, well now we need to count. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Good. We got an odd number. 
which means it's going to be in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. They come up to this. This becomes the median right here at 69. So now we do lower and upper quartiles. So the lower quartile, not counting this dot because it's been used up. One, two, three, four. Four means I'm going to have to split the difference between them. So right here, I've got 63 and 65. They become the middle, so right between them. And that's pretty easy. You add them together and divide by two, but since they're a number apart, I know that it's going to be right here. So my, my lower quartile is going to be 64, which is interesting because it's not a number on the line. And my upper quartile, one, two, three, four, it's going to be right here between these. So 72 to 74, in the middle, that's 73. Okay, and then it, down here it says draw the box plot above the line. I've mostly got mine done. I just need to make the box and the whiskers. And I'm done. So, since we've been talking about whiskers and boxes, let's make a kitty. Yay, this is my attempt at a kitty. Don't be hating. Got to give us pointy ears, little head. Yay, my kitty is done. All right, so I hope you enjoy drawing a kitty too.